Uh, no, nope. yet. Just for showing the whole setup. I'll show this to my niece. That's the controller room. The one you see. The V, Damian. Now nah, move around, might as well. And, and since this is a video, we can also. Okay, so new summer. We are on the Blender Cave in Orsay, France. And let's hope the battery lasts. So this is going straight to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can drive around where you can also control with some of these glasses the tracking position. Oh, the other one is the control. So this glass here, if I move up or down, it's, it's changing the view. Maybe stop the car for a bit. Okay. Go to the other side, might as well. Oh. So the view is changing because of the position of the observer. So for his point of view, the view is always correct. And you're seeing here is a Blender game engine sample file. And this so we have projection on the on the ground. And here's the controller room. We have the slaves. Have a who. Might as well go, can I show the whole thing around? Is there any light? The, yeah. the whole thing? If I remember, the cell phone has a very low space, so I'm gonna need to be quickly. And we have here, <coughs> this is one of the projectors. You can see that's it's being projected. They're all back projecting to the, the screen. And they have this setup for what they call dual stereo. So we can have even more than one point of view playing at the same time. What's the complete name of the professor running the facility? Uh, Jean-Marc Bordeaux. Patrick Bordeaux. Patrick Bordeaux. Bien. Patrick Bordeaux. Bien. And since it's a game agent, you can drive around. Oh, you turn off the... Turn it on. Uh, that ah, that's fine. Going? Yeah. Worse. And we actually have everything integrated, so we can actually navigate the car with the joystick. Through the house. Yeah, through the house. Uh, there you go. So it's a. Uh, this was the Blender Cave in Paris. Well, not Paris, Orsay, but. Limsi? One of the Paris. Yeah. Paris. Paris. Easier.